The Chinese government has the firm resolve and has taken serious, vigorous measures to prevent the spread of the disease. This will continue to be the most important work. First, we'll try our best to treat the infected. Every life counts. The right to survival and health is the most basic and important human rights. Medical institutions all over China are doing their very best to increase the hospitalization rate, the cure rate, and reduce infection rate and mortality rate. Second, we'll strengthen the epidemic prevention and control efforts in key areas. By key areas, we mean Hubei province, especially Wuhan city. Prevention and control measures are being improved and strengthened in this province and city. Patients are, di are diagnosed, reported, isolated, and treated at the most timely manner. Monitoring of the epidemic development is strengthened. The affected are treated in the specialized hospitals. The people who have a close contact with the patients are under close medical observation. All these are aimed at preventing further spread of the disease. Third, we're enhancing international cooperation on epidemic prevention and control and on scientific research. China will continue working closely with the WHO and the relevant countries and regions. A few days ago, China published multi-language versions of the Guide for General Public to Prevent Pneumonia Caused by the Novel Coronavirus, which has been shared with all countries in the world through social media and other channels at the top speed. This demonstrates China's sincerity to work with the international community to fight the disease. This also shows China's determination to take up its responsibility as a reliable global player. As I understand, researchers from China and the UK and other countries are working around the clock to trace the origin and transmission routes of the virus, follow closely its evolution, share relevant data and case information, design prevention and control strategies and measures, and develop new drugs and vaccine. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, it is understandable that there are concerns in the UK and the rest of the world about the epidemic. Some people are worried that it might have a negative effect on China's economy or even the world economy. There are also overreactions by individual countries, panic among the public, and even insulting and discriminatory remarks and behavior targeting the overseas Chinese community. Understanding the epidemic should be objective and reasonable. The WHO has reiterated that it disapproves of and is even against travel and trade restrictions on China. In recent days, the UK, at the bilateral level, has fully recognized China's tremendous efforts and effective measures in fighting the virus. It also expressed willingness to enhance cooperation with China and do its best to assist China in the, this effort. It is our hope that the governments of all countries, including the UK, should understand and support China's efforts, respect the professional advice of WHO, avoid overreaction, avoid creating panic, and ensure the normal cooperation and exchanges between countries. <laughs>